rush hour in a Himalayan Shangri-La. For hundreds of years, the former Buddhist kingdom of Upper Mustang in northern Nepal was closed to visitors. But change is on the way as a new highway connects the region with India and China. Now that the road has come here, local people are very happy because we are able to get supplies cheaply, easily and quickly. Earlier, everything had to be brought on mules or by porters. It was very difficult. Nepal's government barred foreigners from here until 1992 and now charges a hefty entrance fee in a bid to keep visitor numbers down and protect the area's unique culture. Today, many fear the road will do what tourism couldn't and replace traditional clothing and hand-stitched Tibetan boots with imported jeans and sneakers. It's important to save our culture so it reflects our identity. Otherwise, there will be nothing special left about Upper Mustang. The new generation is eager to embrace modern life, meaning that the former kingdom's days as a cultural time capsule where yak caravans and kerosene lamps were once common sights, are now numbered. When we talk about our culture, many changes have happened. A lot has changed for young people. They want to be modern. Their way of thinking is very different. A medieval way of life preserved for centuries at a cost that younger generations are no longer willing to pay.